Well, in the U.S. and Africa, communities of African descendants are experiencing a high rate of diet-related disorders like diabetes and heart disease. A Nigerian-American in Washington wants to change that. Nutritionist Tambra Ray Stevenson is on a mission to inspire young girls and women, women in the diaspora and in Africa. His viewer is Mary Alice Salinas. Tambra Ray Stevenson redefines the kitchen as a healing space. I am de-stressing as I'm massaging. This is my stress ball, ladies, okay? Me massaging the kale, all that... Last year, she launched a nonprofit called WANDA, which stands for Women Advancing Nutrition, Dietetics, and Agriculture. Based in Washington and Nigeria, WANDA focuses on developing the next generation of women and girls as leaders in nutrition. My daughter, who was going to school and the teacher didn't feel the need to have healthy food in the classroom, and I thought the only way to combat this is to have an army of women who care about creating a healthier generation, and it starts with us as women to take back our communities. She also sees a huge food challenge. The UN has declared a decade of action on nutrition, and the World Health Organization has estimated four million people in Africa will die of non-communicable diseases like diabetes and heart attacks by 2020. And without any intervention, we will find ourselves in the same crises that we have with AIDS, malaria, and TB. The nutritionist founded Native Soul Kitchen in Washington and partners with local groups in African countries. I focus mainly on providing nutrition education, cooking demos, lectures, in America and abroad, and it was from doing that that really sparked me of seeing the need that more girls across the world, like in Africa, need to know that nutrition is a career. It's not just about good nutrition in our bodies. Stevenson shares her discoveries of African heritage foods like hibiscus flowers that are used to flavor drinks and are believed to benefit heart health. Food is a powerful tool. It can either heal us or it can kill us. Um, food also is identity. We see ourselves as a reflection of what we eat on our plates, in our bowls, in our hands. Seeing a lack of children characters in nutritional literature, Stevenson created Little Wanda and recently released a bilingual children's book series, Where's Wanda? Little Wanda is an engaging role model for girls tackling food and health issues in the community with the help of Big Wanda, a food entrepreneur. It's really important to know it is a community effort to support the Little Wanda in our communities to become like the next Big Wanda, and that's what this story does. The support seems to be coming. Nikki Wood attended the recent event with her two young children. Um, another way to we can support other women who are doing great work, um, especially um, trying to educate our children and as well as our communities on better eating and health um, from a global perspective. So just excited about it. Stevenson believes her effort will help make those of African descent and the world much healthier. For producer June So, Mary Alice Salinas, VOA News, Washington.